It seemed to take a while to launch as well. They made several changes to certain aspects of the game, so I'm wondering if that might have an effect. Okay. Can we see? Okay. Yeah, you guys can see. Oh, did it just go into full screen? It did like a weird... I'll take it. I'll just have to keep on checking OBS to make sure you're not getting a frozen screen. Because it seems like that might happen. Okay. Wake up! Dabba 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 dabba. Wake up! Alright, so... Hold up, you're gonna want to get the launch codes from the observatory for first. How did I get back here? Didn't I already left off? Trust me, with the modifications I've made to those rockets, there's no way I would have missed that. I won't ask how you got the launch codes, but since you have them, get a move on. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during liftoff. You'd think that'd be something, one of the basic things he would test. It makes it sound like he didn't left off at all after finishing. Okay, so... So, current state of satellite is not visible at the moment. So, I'm basically... I wonder if that means I just have to kind of wait on the map screen for a little while. We've got the coordinates for the vessel. We want to visit Solanum on the quantum moon at some point. I'm not going to do that right now, though. I'm kind of wondering if this will lead to a completely different ending, or if it'll just modify the current endings. Or maybe it won't have an impact on the ending at all. It's just going to be its own thing. Okay, and we have to remember that 40 degrees is significant. Because that is... It was at 40 degrees, the 40 degree angle, when we saw an object in the picture that it was taking. An object that, you know, eclipsed the sun, and we're not sure what it is. Some type of planet, possibly, or possibly something else. It could be the eye itself, the eye of the universe itself. And you know, the DLC is called Echoes of the Eye. So, seeing as how the eye of the universe is kind of the end game for the whole series, it's probably not a stretch to say that the eye is involved in this DLC somehow. So what I'm expecting is, if I sit here, zoomed out, can I zoom out even more? Oh, I can. Oh. Do you... Oh, did it pass by already? It's like just recently passed by too. Okay, so... It's not even visible when I'm at normal zoom. So, we'll resume. We'll talk to Gabbro. I feel like talking to Gabbro and gaining the ability to meditate it might be useful for us here. Where's Giant's Deep at? I mean, I guess I could have checked for Giant's Deep while I was still on the planet. Okay. It is on the other side of the sun. Let's go this way. How do I rotate? Oh, I'm going straight into the sun now, aren't I? Okay, well. We accelerate this direction, and we might be able to slingshot around. Yeah, we did. Nice. See? Expert astrologist here. And we'll s 
slow down here. hoping to do after getting the vessel coordinates. Ooh. Splash down hard. There's Gabro's ship. So we're looking for his island with the campfire. Whoa! Okay, something landed on me. Well, sure enough. suit before we do anything else. Frame rate's still good. Down here. Is that twister gonna pick us up? I don't know. <clears throat> no, I wanted to get the meditate ability, but I also wanted to check to see if Gabro could tell me anything about the deep space satellite. I'm not actually sure who he was helping. Nice to s nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have just, like, died somehow. Do you remember, you know, dying a few minutes ago, maybe? Oh yeah, we definitely died. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. It was all way too vivid to be a dream. I tried radioing Hornfells to ask and asking them if they had died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Well, if you remember dying, then I guess I didn't just fall asleep and have a bad dream or something. I don't know what's going on, though. Today has been weird. Like, I was on a different island earlier, right? And I was on the beach looking at one of those big stone statues of a Nomai head. And the next thing I know, it's looking back at me glowing. The statue replays everything I've just done. Like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? And then suddenly it stops, and everything's normal again. That happened to me at the observatory. You too, huh? Come to think of it, when I died... I saw what I'm pretty sure were my memories going backwards, just like that time with the statue. Do you think the Nomai statues are related to us dying somehow? And another thing, we died, but we aren't dead? That's pretty unusual for Perthians. <laughs> well, what's, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? Here we go. Um, uh, What's up with this planet? This is not new. I don't think that leads to meditating. I think I have to talk to him a second time to talk about meditating. Found a photo of you inside of the old radio tower. Nice. Did I look busy in it? I hope I look busy. Must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. Though the Earth, they thought old spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how I got a shot of my beautiful behelmeted face, come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet. The that the best way to find Old Spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite, always making sure we know where it's going. Or where we're going. Why did Hornfells think it was broken? Don't know. Hornfells probably told me why, but Horn Hornfells tells me lots of things, and sometimes I tune out, or pretend there's signal interference and I can't hear them. Best guess says the deep space satellite must have sent Timberhearth some weird pictures, but that's but, like, what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit Old Spacey, fastest way is to jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock onto the satellite, same as you would any astral body. Okay, so maybe maybe I can just travel there anytime I want. Have you ever start, stared at a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you look at them long enough. A space treating you. Is there anything else I can get from this? I have a map. Um, old spacey? I mean, the satellite's not super old, but it's hardly brand new. Old is more of a term of affection. You're being a very literal minded about this. Old spacey likes visitors, you know. Fastest way? Okay. Cool. Alright. That's good enough for me. Well. Rather than go to a new 
rather than just, you know, let the loot die off, I'm just gonna go. Alright, so we'll... Oh, we need to repair. It is... Oh, the fuel tank is damaged. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Can I even get up there? I can't even get up there. Are we gonna get lifted up? Okay, that will help. It might already be too big for the fuel tank, though. I can see it up there spraying fuel. Once the fuel tank gets damaged, you have to repair it quickly, otherwise your ship is basically useless. Not yet. Okay, come on. Launch this up. There we go. Too, too high, too high. No. Okay, no, no. Okay, we gotta repair this before we land. We're in, it's not gonna work, is it? The keyboard controls are messing me up, too. Okay, I'm probably gonna die. Whoa. I'm surprised that came so close to killing me. Oh. Our ship is probably useless now. to Gabbro again. Maybe he'll tell us how to meditate. If not, then we'll just walk into that friendly cave. Uh, let's see. What are you doing out here? What are any of us doing here? I'm not really sure what exactly triggers him telling you about meditating, other than maybe just visiting him twice. So maybe I'll have to... maybe I'll swing back here once I start the new loop, which could be any time now. I don't know. Wait. Can I identify... oh! Yeah, I never got his signal to die. There we go. Nice. Now, now I feel like... I'm not just totally walking away empty-handed. There we go. It's weird because you like you train yourself to hate the things that kill you normally in video games. And this game is very much like that, too, when you're starting out. But once you get used to the idea of just restarting the loop, it doesn't really affect you that much. Like, just jumping into the fire here. Okay, so... The video is still unfrozen, which is good. Alright, so now that I know, I can actually... I just need to zoom out to see old Spacey. Come on. Right away. There we go. Lock on. Cool. Oh, and there, old Spacey is just about to come up. Well, I'll talk to Gabbro again after we visit old Spacey. noise from me moving my desk around. For my next stream I'll probably fix some of the audio settings. I'm not gonna mess with around with that right now. I spent enough time trying to mess with that controller. Whoa. Oh, I was expecting this to be much bigger. Velocity match. Okay, cool. Okay. 
unidentified signal. Frequency, deep space radio. Deep space satellite, and here is... Play reporting. Gabbro here, checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peace peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. Bet it's yawn. Awfully nice for naps, too. Dot, dot, dot. All right, the lights. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Huh. Everything looks a-okay, okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction, after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Okay, so it tells you the angle here. And we are just coming up. Okay, 40 degrees is the one that mattered. So we need to look. Where's the sun? Okay, there's the sun. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, that's a thing. Um... Now what? Will it go away if I look away? Okay, I'm getting too far away from my ship. I need to get back. Like, quick. Need to follow that before it goes away, whatever that is. Watch, I'm probably totally off base, and it's just- wait, there are stars shining through it. There are- okay. This is getting weird. Okay, yeah, this is new. What am, I, what am I even looking at? What? Okay. So that was a portal. Or was it a portal? Was it just like... Oof! Fuck. Fuel tank? Oh, great. Uh, let's fix the fuel tank real quick. is just slightly higher than normal. Okay, fuel is repaired. Okay. These look like little scouts, but they're much more advanced. Is this no my construction? Okay, yeah, so this is definitely the thing. This is definitely the main location. That's that is really cool though. Like the way you get here. Once I saw the 40 degrees thing, I figured it was something like that, but it's still really cool how it's like it's still Unable to pinpoint location. Okay. It's still kind of like incorporated to the main solar system. Okay, so scout launcher. It's a weird surge texture. From a distance, it looked like a skull. Wait. I guess we had that many. Yeah. I was thinking, wait, do we have more ways to rotate the camera? I guess we already had that. It was just, it just looks different on the keyboard controls. Alright, so. 
Yeah, this is not Nomai. Unknown language, okay? So there you go, just in case there was any doubt. This is definitely not Nomai. Or at least not the Nomais as we know them. This is the unknown Mai. Whoa. Okay. Did that happen because I turned on my flashlight? Yeah, it did. So that is... timing thing, but no, I was just waiting until it's done. Okay, so flashlights are obviously a factor here. This looks wooden. It is wooden. Okay. Oh, we're on Halo. It kind of is Halo. That is what this is, isn't it? Oh, for a second I thought I was in the water, but no, I'm just... This is turned into a raft. Okay. structures. You got a pretty... Okay, there's more wooden structures here. You got a pretty good idea of what you're coming up on. Still the same level of gravity. What's this lake? Will that pull us up? Oh, yeah. Man. Okay, this is already super cool. Okay, so... Near as I can tell, this is some sort of secret space station. Not built by the Nomai. Or at least not built by our Nomai. Maybe some sort of, like, future Hearthians or something like that? Air unknown language. I wonder if you gain the ability to read their language at some point. Or you just have to puzzle things out. Ship log update. <laughs> Alright, well, we can't read that now, but we are definitely... Okay, there's a dam. Interesting. <laughs> so it's not just... It's not just... A halo structure. It's also, like, a perpetual motion machine. That is also its own water wheel. That's cool. That's a cool concept. There's gotta be more to it than that, but... So far, that's what it looks like. Wow, okay. Two eyes. They are creepy looking. They look like owls with antlers and bright white eyes. What kind of nose is that? I don't know. They're freaky looking, but, I mean, they don't seem threatening. At least not over overly threatening. It's just a, a drinking glass. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna take a while to explore all this. And I'm gonna go over every single detail while I'm doing it. Okay, there's another one. That's a different angle. So they must have individual pictures. Is that a drinking flask? No. This chair... It seems larger than the chairs on Timber Hearth. So, these creep... Whatever this race is, they are larger than a Hearthian is. 
before they were larger. Oh. That's a thing. I'll let that run for a bit. This might be a timing thing. Okay. What's with that? Forward or reverse? It's not a projector. Or no, maybe this is a projector. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's a projector screen. Okay, so it's just a light. There's probably some sort of film reel or something I'm supposed to put in there. Well, there's two of them. They're kind of freaky looking, but like, I don't know, they could be cool. They could be cool to hang out with. Ah, slide reel. This is probably what we need. The dam bursts. Okay, well I guess that's our pressure mechanic. This is, yeah, this is... Can we do, even do this now? Yeah, we can still do this while we're in the water. Oh. No, this mechanism is not gonna work anymore. Shoot. Alright, so... Seems like this space station is falling apart. Which, you know... Makes kinda... Kinda makes sense. Alright. That's still accessible. Let's check that out. I don't think that we, we really had to deal with, like, a current like this before. The only current we had was the inner current on Giant Steep that kept us out. Kept pushing us up. But this is pushing us sideways. Okay. Well, I mean... They seem like... They like nature. They like fishing. They like candles. Oh, I can pick this up. Already hold- okay, so these are lanterns you can just pick up. So the lanterns, I mean... We've already encountered a couple of light-based puzzles, so I'm assuming these lanterns will be used for something like that. Is there a way to light that lantern, though? No? Okay, so they light candles, but we don't have any candles. There's probably some place where we have to get a candle to use this the way it's intended. Oh, here's- there's that raft. There's a light coming from there. I'm pretty sure that's where our raft got lifted up. There's another raft. There's no sense in fighting the current, at least not yet. Maybe there will be a reason for fighting the current later, but might as well go with the flow. We're still in exploration mode. Yeah, these are like marshy looking trees too. We're missing out on some of the things that we could be saying though, because everything is more full full of water than it was before the dam broke. 
Well, that also means the area behind the dam is more accessible now, too. Well, I'm gonna just ignore my own advice to myself and go against the current. Can I climb up this tree? Not very easily. Can I climb up this? Uh, kind of. Ow. Wait, is that ghost matter there? They look like the kind of crystals you see around ghost matter. Did these guys die at the same time as the Nomai? From the interloper? It's possible. I liked being able to use my map to check on the the hourglass twins just to see how much time was left. Okay. We'll check this out at least. Is this another raft house? Can I use this? No, I cannot. The water just disables it, I guess. I keep on pressing the wrong the wrong keys on my keyboard to try to go down. I can rotate this one. Okay, is that stuck? It's probably stuck. Alright, let's go back to taking my previous advice and just going with the flow. So I'm almost out of fuel. No sense in wasting fuel on flying around when I can just let the water take me. get a decent feel for, like, the layout of this place, then maybe I'll know where to travel next. Ooh, what's this? Is this a place? I mean, it is a place. Is it an important place? It's like, it doesn't seem like there's a lot to explore here, but this area does seem a lot more detailed than you would normally see than the, a lot of the other areas you'd see in this game. Ah, fuel level's getting low. Okay. We'll make do with what we got. Oh, did that tower just fall down? There's our, there's our time. What's this little rock? Ouch. Ooh, is this gonna kill me? No, okay, I'm good. For now, at least. That did do a decent amount of damage to me, though. Is there anything on top of this tower I should look at? I don't see any- oh, whoa, actually. That- oh. A 
fact that there's like cables indicating electrical charges, that's something I need to connect. Because those cables are live and this one is not. Uh, unless it just got itself disconnected when it fell over. That's possible too. So what does it look like in here when the sun goes supernova? What direction is the sun? It's hard to tell. I'm guessing it must be over here. I just can't see it from this angle. that our memories are being taken. So even though you don't technically die, your memories still have to get zapped over to Ash Twin to get zapped back into your previous self. And that's what that represents. They changed the graphic for that too. I guess maybe to make it, well, it might be because I'm in the, whatever that is, space station. Alright, video is still good on OBS. So what happens if I talk to you? Do you have anything different? No. I keep getting killed by- yeah, I guess I did get killed by ghost matter, didn't I? Alright, so let's talk to Gabriel. Nothing else appears to be have changed. At least not immediately, anyway. It's about to just go, but... There we go. Had to remember which one was the button for liftoff. to moon as well. Man, I would have loved to stream this game the first time I played it. Probably would have kept me honest, too. Because when I did my first playthrough, there was two points where I had to look information up. One of them was to get into the Black Hole Forge, and one of them was to actually get into the Ash Twin Project. I kinda wish- I, I- I was getting a little frustrated, but I kinda wish I just stuck with it and didn't look it up. Cause this game is just a pleasure to play. Like, you're kind of only cheating yourself if you're looking for ways to short circuit things. But at the same time, I had most of what I thought I needed to get figured out, figured out. In both of those other than those two things, so it was hard to find anything else to explore. Headlights damage, landing gear damage. That's fine. We'll talk to Gabro, gain the ability to meditate, and then we will be set. Oh, for a second of that, that was an alternate flashlight. I was hoping you'd be back. Something really weird is going on. Do you think we're in a time loop? Yeah, a time loop makes the most sense, right? Or at least, it's some kind of fidgety time business. Hard to say what's happening to the shape of time exactly, but let's go with loop for now. So it looks like you and me are the only ones who know we're in a time loop. And even if you tell them about it, no one remembers by the next loop. What's with that? Maybe it's because we both made some seriously intense eye contact with the Nomai statue. 
I'm seeing my memories replay each time I die. Just like I did when the Nomai statue on the beach opened its eyes and looked at me. So maybe. No glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. I found something. Actually, no button. Okay, he's not giving me the option to learn how to meditate. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back and visit again later. wanting to zoom out with my mouse wheel, even though it doesn't actually work that way. Did we already pass by 40 degrees? We might have. Type stuff happening. The radio tower and Timber Hearth. There does not appear to be any other deep space frequencies other than the satellite and the, and the tower. Okay. Ah, my curiosity is satisfied with that. Oh. Didn't want it. Okay, I was going faster than I ex expected. I'm thinking we must have passed by a 40 degree mark already. it while looking at the sun. Ninety-three. Okay, yeah. We're definitely past the forty degree mark. Oh, that is a supernova off in the distance. Oh, I can't zoom in with this signal scope. The ship board. Alright, so we've gotten the vessel's coordinates. What else do we need? All we need to do is take. Yeah, all we need to do is take the warp drive to the vessel. The only real requirement before that is the vessel coordinates, and possibly talking to Solanum on the quantum moon as well. I'm not sure if I want to do that right away, though. I feel like maybe we would want to visit Solanum at some point after we are exploring more of that mysterious space station. Because maybe Solanum would be able to tell us more about the creatures that lived there. The Nomai never mentioned them in any of their texts, or any, given any indication that they were, you know, anything but alone in this solar system. Maybe the Nomai just didn't realize they were there. Because the... the very fact that they have some of those ghost matter crystals on the space station 
I'm calling it a space station, just because that's basically what it is. On their construct. We could call it the construct. The fact that there's ghost matter crystals on the construct means, to me, that they happened to be in the solar system when the interloper blew up. Alright, well, I'm going to take a quick three minute break, and we're going to puzzle this out a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to let the music play out.